Hi everyone, it's Tanya from Vegan in Michigan, and I just have a few minutes, but I have this magical presence with me today, and I am lucky enough to have a few minutes with Jenny McQueen, amazing, well-loved activist, and well-respected activist in um, Toronto here, and she's generously giving me a few minutes of her crazy busy schedule. Um, and I got to meet her this time. A year ago, I met Peter at after the Dominion screening in London, and we had such a nice talk. And you know, after seeing Dominion, it was such a, <laughs> you know, <laughs> traumatic experience. Yeah. And I just met him, and it was so cute because he's your biggest fan, you know. And he was telling me like how awesome his wife was, and I did. So, <laughs> so since then, I've been a fan and following your work, and I just so appreciate um, the boldness that of. of of what you do, you know, and it's so inspiring to see that, which is, uh, thank yes, you, thank you. badass right here. So can you just give us like a quick little rundown of like, like who you are and some of your favorite maybe things that you, you know, have done before? Like why people uh, think you're a badass? Tell me why people think you're a badass. I think it started <laughs> with the uh, disruption of the uh, fashion show in Toronto. Um, I got myself inside. I was, I was the only one. We had a demonstration outside. Um, I managed to hide a big sign in my bag and then um, I got myself up onto the catwalk, unfurled my sign and my sign is kind of big and I'm behind an individual who's wearing all sorts of fur. So um, I was worried at the time that I had no like media, no media people, no film. No. Oh, you didn't have anybody with you? No, um, but then it was picked up by the media because the mainstream right. media are there um, and then another kind of fun one was uh, disrupting um, um, the Blue Jays which is and we went on the playing field with a banner so me and Jenny Henry we ran onto the playing field with the security running after us like crazy um, and we were tackled and arrested that's another one and I guess the big one really is um, the open rescue mm -hmm. for direct action everywhere mm -hmm. and even though I'm the face of it uh, there was a team mm -hmm. you know there were people with me and there were people taking those same risks but I'm the one who was okay with having my face filmed and yeah and, you know, and I don't mean to make light of this at all by thinking, like, she's a rock star from doing these things, but, like, I'm just looking at, like, um, I want to make sure it comes off okay. I think it will come off okay to other vegan, other vegans and other vegan activists that they'll get it. Mm -hmm. Why this is cool and everything is because you're making a splash and you're making progress and any uh, like yesterday at the parade I kept thinking everybody that had their cameras out my big thing what I was doing Absolutely. on the street people that have yes. no idea what veganism is yet yeah. and even you know even if they were getting if they were taking video to like make fun of vegans which is so you know 1980 whatever and um and I, I kept saying thank you for shooting us thank you for sharing please share this thank you so much thank you exactly. take those yeah. pictures like just getting the word out there yeah. so I did ask my, my girlfriends that I traveled with here from Michigan I was like um so I I think I might get to talk to Jenny and I said like what we know what do you guys think of of what, what should I ask her and they said like what what would you say to vegans who have not got, gotten active yet oh you know, it, it's just of whatever comfort level um, someone has. You don't need to be jumping up on a, a fashion show or disrupting, you know, a sports game. You could do something extremely simple, like, I don't know, make a little sign and um, prop it up somewhere. Um, just find out who's a local uh, organization in your area and just become involved. Whatever your comfort level, even being an activist, you can even be, I think, sitting on, um, sitting at home, tweeting, um, contacting <laughs> organizations, mm -hmm. writing letters to media. Mm -hmm. I think there's a uh, comfort level for everyone. I mean, some people don't have kind of social anxiety, don't they? So it's not their thing to be going out and talking big and boldly. Mm -hmm. um, you can. You can do activism in a very friendly way too. You can be talking to people, especially say in winter, um, if, some, if you see someone with uh, fur around their coat, then that is an easy target because you can just be asking questions. Did you know that you're wearing real fur and giving out a leaflet or even in the grocery 
if someone has a shopping cart full of animals. I've not done that yet, and I think about it all the time, and I, I have to admit, even though I'm active, that scares me when, I, when I'm out in the environment, I'm just doing my own thing, you know? It's a little scary. What do you, do you think there's any difference between small town activism and a bigger city activism? Because sometimes, because my town is kind of small, I do things, like that's why I have my channel. I'm, I'm not really out on the street yet in my town. Like, do you think there's any, anything different about that? Or? Uh, a, a few people have said that to me, that um, when they're in a small town, they really would prefer not to be kind of outed as being that person who is trying to convert everyone. Um, so yeah, um, going online and doing yeah. activism that way is, is absolutely perfect. Yeah. And I hate that I feel that way because that's, um, I mean, obviously I'm active and stuff, but I just, I, like I'll go to Detroit or something for, for that, but. Well, that was the thing I was going to suggest actually. Oh, yeah. If someone okay. could choose a different mm. town mm. to do the more kind of overt activism in, then that would be a great thing too. Oh good, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. <laughs> So that's so neat. So what would you, um, this is the first year for the Animal Liberation Conference in Toronto, yes, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. First and of many, many forever, right? This is, it's been wonderful so far. We're so excited about the rest of the Yeah, we're else. not done right. yet. Yeah. We've got a exciting actions planned, mm -hmm. you know, for the evening and for the, for the day tomorrow too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you, because you're, so, you're, you've been in this, you've been in this for so long, like what, do, do you still find yourself speaking to just a, a normal Joe Schmo, like non-vegan on the street kind of oh, a thing? Sure. sure, I do activism all the time, um, anonymous for the voiceless or vegan outreach. Um, and I'm finding now that speaking to people is improved in a way because even 10 years ago, um, there wasn't that opportunity to speak to people too, too much on the streets, whereas now, We've got all these organizations that you can get involved with. Yeah. And you tend to find that people on the street have actually watched videos. Like social media mm -hmm. is here. Mm -hmm. Duh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so people are watching YouTube, people yeah. are watching documentaries, people have got Netflix and they're watching documentaries on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, maybe carry a little business card with you and put your favorite resources down. Mm -hmm. Business yeah. cards, you can even make them yourself. You can write a few favorite documentaries that people write write your own yeah. channel mm. um, I have some yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly and that could be the, the easy thing you know it's a friendly thing too like just give somebody in some information stuff like that so do you still deal with like getting angry at the responses that you've heard a thousand times from people not even a thousand ten thousand times I'm sure I'm sure yeah. you've heard every excuse in the book yeah. do you still get angry or you how know, have you well um, I was at a rib fest the other day and I got the, uh, the plants feel pain thing. So you know what I did? I, I kind of went to the grass, I mm -hmm. ripped up a piece of grass and I... <laughs> do you hear the screams? Right. So I do get frustrated. Yeah. I do. Um, and I, tr I try to, um, you know, work with that. Mm -hmm. But I always <laughs> say to people, um, don't, don't worry if you get angry. Mm -hmm. uh, emotion is good as long as you're not like... Mm -hmm insulting them as an individual with words that are not appropriate. Yeah. I think anger is good. I think, you know, upset is good. So mm -hmm. if you're a person who gets emotional, um, it's good to actually show some emotion mm -hmm. about what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, just be yourself is, yeah. is basically the message. Yeah. I always yeah. just have to remember that people don't have, they, they haven't watched the videos that I've watched, you know? Mm -hmm. So even if they come up with some kind of crazy, unless it's, unless it's really off the wall and ridiculous, um, we talked about it on the way here, uh, sometimes you just have to tap out. <laughs> like yeah. if it's too if it's too yeah. ridiculous and you know that the person is lying themselves, it's like you know. But um, yeah, well, I, I got, I'm gonna let you go because I don't want to like hog your time. But I'm okay. so thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. much. I'm really thank humbled you. to uh, to be included mm -hmm. on your uh, on your uh, oh, video. On my, so thank you. <laughs> no problem. I, I like and and also we need you know like women like you right. know there's a lot of boys yes. out there making noise, but. You're making noise. It's really exciting. And so, like, you have a lot of fans and, like, a lot of, you know, you just, you, like, it's it's great that you're seen and, like, in a lot of people are being inspired by you all the time. And so. I'm inspired by people who are newly vegan. Are and, you? And, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
and people who are active um, and they've been vegan just maybe even six months you know like yourself three yeah. years yeah. and you, you're doing great stuff already like oh thanks <laughs> yeah so thank you thank you yeah. for all that you do too oh thank you yeah. yeah it's a love fest here yeah no it's been a, it's been great though hasn't it been like a great conference like yes I mean it's ever they I mean everything was organized really well it's been like it's been a ton of fun so ton, and uh, today was emotional roller coaster so yeah it's very difficult but I find with community that um, uh, if you can share whatever troubles you're having um, and there are helplines as well there are international helplines um, like uh, in defense of animals oh, nice. has that support line so if things are becoming too much then uh, you can always take a, take a little step back and then you know re reinvigorate and go back do you still have to take steps back um, so Not so much, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you had to like already go through all of those learning processes in your in your mind over the years, huh? Right. Being an activist. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I, I probably don't do self care as much as I should, but um, I'm involved with quite a few different um, projects, so that tends to keep me focused. Yeah. 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 Eye on the prize, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, thank you. I will let you go do all of the wonderful things that are occupying us this weekend. So thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.